sure everybody appreciates what paint can do. So I thought I'd show you what an expert painter does, like Erasmo here. One of the things you notice is that he has a, a very good brush, but he doesn't get it loaded up into the, into the brush real far up. You don't dip the brush. Show him how you do it, Erasmo. I mean, he touches it, just he has a little bit of paint in the bottom there. If you, if you show it, go ahead and show him how you dip it in there. Go ahead and do that again. So, and then he wipes it off on the side, but he only puts it in a little bit. And then he gets just enough to management, manage it that well. Go ahead. I mean, now that's a painter right there. He pulls that paint, and then look how he lifts it off at the end. He always pulls it toward the paint, toward the other paint so that it lifts. That's the lightest stroke is when you're, when you're lifting. The heaviest stroke is when you're pushing down at the beginning, and then he lifts it off over the other paint. Go ahead. He works it into the cracks and into the grooves, making certain he, he doesn't leave it running. He pulls it. Now he's using an oil base enamel here, which spreads and all the brush strokes even out if you follow those techniques. Go ahead. I'll get out of your way. Go ahead, do a little more. See, he just barely puts paint on there. And then look, look how he, he doesn't mess around. He just pulls it right up to the wall. Perfect line cut. Look at that. And then later on, there's just, it's just like it was, it melted on into each other. So just that little technique of pulling down and lifting is so important in painting. So I know some, some folks want to, to try it themselves. You can, but you really need to know what you're doing. You can mess up your, your brushes. You need good equipment first. You gotta have a lot of experience, use the right paints, and then use the right techniques. And this is a perfect example of that.